This screencast will show you how to add text to a photo using Preview. First thing you find your photo. So I have a picture here on my desktop. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say Open with Preview. It may not be the default on your computer, so that's why you want to right click and say Open with. Once it opens in Preview, up at the top you'll see um, various buttons that allow you to open up new menus. So you want to click on this one here that has a little pencil and it'll bring you uh, the menu that you can add different things to your picture. The first thing if you want to crop your picture, you can use the cropping button, um, but we're actually going to just go to text. So right here there's a little text box. Click on the text box and it turns blue so you know it's highlighted. Then you click on your picture and you start typing. But you'll notice that your text is probably really, really small. And that's where you want to click on this button here, which will show you the fonts. So here you'll notice that the font is only at 10. So we're going to want to increase our font probably quite a bit for this one. And if you can't see the one that you did, I'm just going to delete it. Um, and we'll start again. So we'll start with a 24 font and then we'll start typing again. So even 24 isn't a very big font. So we're probably going to need to go to like 124 for this picture. So it all depends on the photo you have and how big you want your font. And then you can use the text box to increase it. If you click back on the text box and highlight the text, you can change the text color to be something that is a little more visible. And then if you click back on the letters, you can move it around. It's a little tedious and can drive you um, a little crazy, but you can also highlight the text and pick any different fonts that you happen to have um, in your font menu. So you can customize that and add anything you want. And then all you need to do, let's see, make that say hello. Now all you need to do is say save. And then I'm going to close the picture. And when I open the picture back up, it now has the words on it. So then that picture can be uploaded or used however you want. 